okay guys so this is going to be the last video we're going to uh give them some eyebrows with this makita finger sander if you guys this is like 240 dollars you guys if you can't afford this canadian can't afford it buy a cheap one one uh evil rick has some videos he he bought a one one he said it works all right um so we're going to give this guy some eyebrows some age lines up here smooth off all the uh nose and just kind of touch it up a bit the bottom lip and then we're going to sand it burn it and sand it okay carry on okay so when i'm using this makita finger sander i don't really like to run it at full speed because if you run it at full speed the um there's a speed control on it right here it seems like um it has an easier chance for the sandpaper to fly off it so all i'm going to do is just give them some eyebrows some age lines up here and just run around clean everything up smooth the nose off and smooth in here and stuff okay Okay, so I think we're good to go. Um, you know, you don't really need to do this step, but I like to do it sometimes. I'm just going to hit it with this. This is a Sandal Flex. Um, that's 80 grit sandpaper in here. I should probably replace this stuff. I'm just going to go over it quickly and um, sand it up a bit. Then I'm going to burn it. Then I'll hit it again with the, the Sandal Flex, okay? Okay, now I'm going to burn it. Okay, so I got this. I hope there's enough gas in here. It's propane. I'm going to burn deep in here. Okay, deep inside the, where it's down here, and then right up here, I'm going to burn deep, and inside the big cuts here, I'll burn deep, okay? Burn deep underneath the chin, too, to give it a effect. Underneath the nose. Basically, the burning gives it shadows, right? And then forehead. 
you got to think the forehead's farther back, so... Basically, a deep in the farther back places more. And give it a good burn on the outside. With this chair, just give it a quick pass. Getting there good. Just quick pass up there, just to brown the wood a bit, get rid of the fuzzies. I said I burned deep into the farther back spots. Okay, so I'm going to burn all around here on the whole thing, and I'll be back with the sandal flex. Stay on. Okay, everybody, so this is the uh, final part of the video of the series, how to carve a wood spirit with a chainsaw and power carving tools the way I do, the way um, Ryan Cook taught me to do the details and stuff like that. Um, I hope it's helpful helpful for you. I didn't film a, a video for this project because I forgot, and, well, I just don't want to go over there and uh, film it right now, so I'm doing a voiceover. So I hope you're all good, and I hope this uh, really can help you, and this is what I carved the day after. Hope you're all good. Okay, bye. Okay, this is what I carved today. That root head. This guy, I don't like this guy at all. This guy's cool. So there's those three. And the owl. The owl's not finished yet though. The moon on there.